to Mia's life. A while back, I went to a skin clinic and I got a treatment done called a PRP facial. That was supposed to be like a course of treatments, but I didn't really go back. Oops. And she did also recommend that there were some other things which I could do to help with my skin. So I'm gonna be going back today. Again, I think I'm probably gonna be getting lasers, which sounds kind of terrifying. The only thing is, um, I'm running like kind of late and Basically, I put makeup on this morning. See, I can't go there with makeup on because she's not going to have to do my skin. So I need to remove my makeup really quick and I need to be there like very soon. And it's a while to drive there, so just great. Guys, I was going to wear these like sandals, but then <laughs> my dad said that they just look stupid. So. Well, no, I thought it was like, you know, if you break your foot and then you have like a plaster cast on your foot. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to stick to normal just foot. Just an gloves. observation. Do these look like I've broken my foot? You don't have to take them off. I'm just as alive. No, no, no. I was going to keep them on. Dad always says like my clothes are interesting and I, I'm fine with it. I get yeah. it. I do like the look of them. It's just they're quite like sticky. What I mean by sticky is they're like plasticky and because it's very hot here, if your feet sweat, they give you blisters. I've removed my makeup. This is what my skin is looking like before. Check out Family Fizz if you're wondering why they're all dressed up like lifeguards. It's a bit of a funny story. You know how I said that I was nervous that I was going to be late? I'm actually half an hour early. So I wonder if um, I'll be able to get it done early or if I'm going to have to wait half an hour. <laughs> Wish me luck. This is the last look for before. Taking the thumbnail. Okay, that was awkward because there's like people in the gym staring at me and walking past. Anyways, let's go in. This is awkward. <laughs> I just spoke to the lady about it and she said that I definitely should go for the laser. Like that's what she really wanted to recommend. Guys, I have no idea what that sound is and I'm sorry. It's going to stop in a moment. She's been saying it that I should get that done for a while, but I wasn't quite sure about it because I hadn't really done much research. It's going to like really help because the main issue of my skin is scarring to be honest. I do have active acne in the laser. It's going to help with that. It's mostly the scarring which I really just want help with. I was always planning to do laser but I thought I couldn't do it until like my acne had gone. The only thing is she just told me she has to put numbing cream on because it can be painful and also my face can be very red. Afterwards I'm a little bit nervous. <gasps> also what is that weird sound? So then the assistant asked me to go to a separate room so she could apply the numbing cream. This was very relaxing. She was like massaging it into my face. I love this part of any like facial and treatment I've had before when they have to like massage a cream in. Like, after she'd finished applying it, I had to lay on this bed for like 30 minutes or something waiting for it to numb my face. And it was the weirdest feeling ever. And the funny thing is, I don't know how, but somehow I managed to get a bit like in my mouth on my tongue like just a little bit so a bit of my tongue also started to go numb and like my whole mouth was numb and just like everywhere was numb and it it's a weird feeling the first step is going to be full face and it's not painful okay okay this step is mostly for try to kill the bacteria then later the second step will be like full again and that will be for peels so that step is a little painful but it will be fast I'm sure that you will be very happy after because yeah, it's definitely, definitely that will be very helpful because we need to clean your skin. My face feels so numb. Like That's great. I can't feel it at all. That's great. That's what we want. It feels weird. Like like like, like, like tingling sometimes. Yeah very tingling. So I'm now on the bed and I'm about to be getting the treatment. My nerves you were getting worry. high. The thing that you're going to use is the fan. Okay. So you will get, you will keep it with you. Can you come a little more up, sweetheart? Sure. When she told me that I had to use a fan, that did make me more nervous as well because I knew that it meant that it was going to be like it's hot. Not it's okay. just a little warm, sure. but pain, there is not on this side. <laughs> no pain on this step, huh? No pain. Yeah, um, this step was painful. I kind of did want to use the fan, but I didn't want to use it because I knew the next step was supposed to be even more painful. I didn't want her to think that I wouldn't be able to handle it. And I just wanted to like try and push through this bit without using the fan. How does it feel? Fine. Yeah, I was not fine. It was not fine. Oh, I felt like I wanted to run away. <laughs> <laughs> but I sat there. I sat through it. It wasn't like painful on all the areas, especially on this first round. If she went on a more sensitive part of my face or if there was like some an area where there was more spots and it was like more sore, then it would hurt more. It kind of felt like slightly just like a hot, like burning sensation, 
but only in like the exact area where she was shining the laser. Also this sound, listen to it. <laughs> Like, man, it was fine. Yeah, I kind of didn't want to make a big deal out of it hurting to her because I knew that the next step was supposed to be like even more painful. But I cannot explain to you in words how scared I was for the next step. Okay, how was that step? Um, uncomfortable in some areas, but like, okay, I can, it's fine. Like, if it needs to be more painful, I can handle it. Okay, yeah, now the next step, it will be a little more strange. Yeah, it definitely was <laughs> quite more, quite, I can't even talk. It was definitely a lot more painful, put it that way. It burnt, it burnt a lot. And the grossest thing was the smell. It smelt like burning flesh. I definitely had to use the fan on this bit because um, it was intense and it did last quite a while as well. Like it wasn't just a short period of time. Like it felt like forever. It was probably like, I actually don't know how long, maybe like 10 minutes of this. I don't know, maybe not even that much, but it felt like forever. I'm sorry, okay. okay. Now the thing is, I didn't know that I was not hitting her face, but basically I kept wanting to really, really, really fan it. I could feel that I kept hitting into something and I thought that I was hitting into her face, but now watching back the footage, I don't think I actually was. I was just hitting into the machine, thank goodness, because I felt so bad because it happened like five times where I made contact with something. So then because of that, I was really trying not to fan too much. Oh no, maybe I was hitting into her hand, but that's not nearly as bad as her face. So I don't feel too guilty anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So she had to do like all areas of my face, the sides of my cheek. She's now doing my forehead. And then she also had to do my nose. I feel like the nose definitely hurt a bit more. Yeah, we made our yeah. first laser, Woo. So all the skin, sweetie, it will be red, right? Like, okay. like it's now, right? Yeah. Probably in some days, you will start to peel off the skin, right? Okay. And the cream, it will be helpful too because the cream will make you to continue peel. So mm -hmm. what you have to do is a moisturize your skin. Okay. You can use aloe, fresh aloe all the time. Everybody wrap with the aloe vera. Wait. Thank Thank you. I was so embarrassed because I didn't want to tell her that it was painful, but it was so painful. Like, so painful. Like, <laughs> Okay, so let's go back with the fan. Also, the aloe vera stung because obviously my face was sore, so that wasn't the most fun. That was so painful. It was painful. What did you have done? It was a laser thing and oh. it was like burning. Oh, oh it was it hurt. No, I didn't cry. Hurt. Like I could deal with it, but it hurts. And like they put numbing stuff all over my face, so my face is completely Ooh. numb right now. But like while they were doing it, like my whole lips, like I feel it's weird to move them. Like I can't really Ooh. move my face. That was definitely an experience. I hope that um it's effective because otherwise like it was fine like I can deal with the pain and it's not like you know lasting forever like I wanted to do it and um, she did tell me it was gonna be painful um, but I just hope it's effective I think it is going to be did she say that will help with the scarring yeah she said it helps with scarring and active acne wow that's so different. yeah and my skin's gonna everything. pale it's like so. Um, peel it's like a deep cleaning and it has now been two days since I had my treatment this is what my skin is looking like so the day after it was kind of like more red and a little bit sensitive and sore still but today it's like all the redness has pretty much gone down I feel like my skin is just like very dry and it's starting to peel in certain areas but I've been applying aloe vera a couple times a day I've also got this cream which she gave me which I have to put on every night so it has like some acid she told me and it has retinol which is vitamin A and also vitamin C this she told me is also gonna help my skin peel, it smells amazing by the way guys. I need to now apply some aloe vera. Ooh, it's really cold, it's straight out of the fridge. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I can already see that my skin is more even, like when I'm touching it now, it feels so much more like even than before, which I definitely appreciate. And I feel like it's something which probably you don't see immediate results. I don't really know how it works. If you are supposed to see immediate results, if you do, then I feel like I can see some. It kind of feels like I've had sunburn. It's now at that stage where your skin is like dry and then about to feel, like peel off. So you've got like 
a dry old layer of skin which is going to come off like on top of my skin so it kind of feels maybe that's why it feels more smooth because it's kind of like not like scabby but it's like dry skin which needs to peel off that sounds really gross i'm gonna go back in three weeks i booked an appointment um so i'll take you guys along with that i'm also going to be keeping you updated on my stories i'm at miss life official by the way if you want to go follow me over on there on instagram i'll see you guys bye love you